Hello, this is Tyler Weaver, and um, this is normally Ross Developer Nuts, but this is going to be more specific to just C++ in general. And it's this cool technique that I was reminded by by watching the latest CPP cast where they're talking about things they want to add to the language and tooling and stuff that already exists in all the compilers and the compilers have support for it and they know about it, but isn't really supported in language. It has to do around debugging. Um, and I want to show you this just really cool technique that I use all the time and I think is is really overlooked by um, a lot of people when they're debugging. So, you know, you can add print statements, right, to debug things, but you can also add breakpoints in your code. Let me show you how. So I got this program right here, um, right? I can, um, I can, I can, uh, I can compile it. It's it's really simple, right? I give it a positive integer there, and it gives me what makes sense. But what if I give it a negative number? Like, it doesn't handle that very well. It gives me a, a one. I'm like, oh, well, what does it do when it when I get a negative number? Um, well, hey, let's go set a breakpoint. Um, I'll show you how. So all you have to do is you have to include signal.h, and then Say we want to know what happens when I have a negative number. So you could say if n is less than zero, right? Um, and then you raise a sig crap. That's a breakpoint. That that's 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 all this is. So let's go build it again. Um, now I'll show you what happens when you run it without GDB, right? And you give it a negative number or, or a negative number, right? Breakpoint a trap. All right, let's run GDB. Um, so I hit run. Let's. I'll show you what happens when I give it a positive number. Just works as normal. Um, I hit run. I'm gonna give it a negative number. Oh look, it trapped. Trapped inside this um this raise function. Um, if I do a backtrace, you can see we're inside this raise function that's optimized out. It's inside. You know, sysv, linux, raise, let's see, whatever. Um, we can go up one. And now we're at the point where it was called. So I can do a list, right? And there's our code. I can do info args. I can see that n is equal to negative five, right? And I could continue on and debug this, but that's it. That's the whole thing. Um, you can use raise sig trap. You have to include signal.h and you can insert a breakpoint wherever you want. Just in your code. You don't have to figure out how to uh, like wrangle GDB into giving you the breakpoint where you want, if some condition, like you can use code to determine when you want the breakpoint. It's so, it's such a powerful tool that I don't think enough people know about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, maybe check out some of my other videos. Um, hopefully I'll make more like this. Um, this was great.